Okay, look how freaking cool this is. Someone tagged me in this on Instagram. This is a freaking yin yang shell. So under the hashtag try me Sid on the gallery, you can upload shells or challenges for me to do on my YouTube channel. And someone uploaded this. I was so intrigued, I went straight to the original, who is Dill1993, and they created this yin yang shell. How freaking cool is this? So naturally, I downloaded it immediately, and I want to build like a boho dream house, kind of like something really zen and chill out of this shell. I'm gonna treat this like a normal shell challenge. I don't think it's gonna be like insanely hard or anything, but I'm not gonna touch the walls. The walls are gonna stay as is. This is actually pretty large. Like, look at this on my lot. I don't want to take away from the shape of this thing at all so I'm not planning on roofing it I'm looking for a fence that's high enough to like kind of keep that shape let's use this one here from perfect patio and I'm gonna put that around this entire like lower part so that the shape is still there and I wanted to go with like a higher fence for that reason too and then we can go in with this super cute gate and thankfully that fits right in the middle <laughs> let's get some flooring I think I want to do like an entire outdoor scenario here like I'm thinking we could do like an outdoor living room outdoor garden but I want a section it off because I'm worried that this is gonna end up looking too like plain just open like that so I'm gonna go in with our base game beloved and I'm just gonna start to pull across a little bit of fencing just to section off this one area maybe over here we could do like a little garden a little seating area I don't know yet and I'm just gonna trace around so again the shape is not being disrupted and then we can go in with some columns and basically just meet the fencing that we've done I think I'm actually gonna go back in and just make like a checkerboard pattern and since I'm like tracing around this part, I feel like I may as well just like trace around the entire thing with this fence. So now I have my checkered pattern. We're gonna add some like brown trim just to get rid of that like white default trim there. I'm also gonna put on some black wallpaper right away just to kind of like get the visuals going here. And for that right now, I'm just using this snowy escape swatch in black. And I might actually also, while we're at it, just complete the entire yin yang aesthetic here and go in with like a black ceiling slash roof. I need use a half wall here just to do a little bit of privacy for this area. We can get some hanging lights from toddler stuff, make it nice and cozy for the entryway. I think I do want to put like a fireplace in there. We can use that along that wall. And then for my fireplace, I think I want to use eco lifestyle, like keep it small. We'll do like a red. I do want to get color in here. I'm picturing boho. I want it to be very like colorful a little bit, but leaning more towards like an earthy tone build. I think it's going to be beautiful. Some little tables. I think this could be like a barbecue spot actually. I'm gonna use these chairs here from get together maybe in like that green swatch I want candles under here I want this to scream fire hazard sorry sims <laughs> listen if I can't do it in real life I'm gonna put so many candles in my sims build I'm too scared to do it in my actual house so here take them all let me live my dream I'm gonna add some plants in the background of this oh maybe a hanging plant from the ceiling I have gone in and added the hanging lights from the new kit I've added more plants and clutter and stuff in here and I think this is looking really really good I want it to thrive at night. And then over here, I just added our mailbox, our trash can, and this boho style kind of rug at the front. Maybe I'll put like a barbecue over here. This is where you would like come to cook. Let's use this one right in that corner right there. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's move on from this section. I think I'm gonna kind of go like section by section here. I do wanna do a garden. So I think I'm gonna go in with this fence again, and I'm just gonna section this off maybe and delete my flooring. And then in here, I could go in and do a little garden space. I'm gonna use these from Island Living and basically just fill this up. Yes, fill it up. This is so satisfying. And then when you get to the edges, you like play it cool, you know? I am a calm and composed plant placer. And now we can go in and add some trees and I think I want it to like encircle the rest of it. Like that. <laughs> what I want to do for like these circle parts, I think I want to make that into a pool. So I'm gonna trace around this with my pool tool. Actually, I'm gonna trace around both. One of them is gonna be functional. One of them is gonna be like a freaking aquarium. What? I did like a TikTok hack in one of my TikTok like build hack videos before and I made like this little aquarium so that could be really cool especially on the inside if like that's gonna be a focal point of my living room or whatever and we can put windows around there yeah I haven't decided yet which one is gonna be functional but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out okay we need to figure out where my entryway is going to be and I think it's gonna be maybe like right here and also I'm noticing I hate how this looks on the outside so I'm gonna cover this up with these I'm gonna just go along the entire outside 
outside with these hedges. So this is where my door is gonna be. I think I'm gonna go in with this one from Snowy Escape, do like a nice big sliding door. I've also done a little bit of landscaping here when I went in with these hedges. So this is what that is looking like. And I think the hedges really help the like weird column situation that was going on over here where I plan on doing like a TV area, I think. I was picturing like outdoor projector that you could put onto like a blanket and like get the fairy lights going. That would be so pretty. So we've got our TV. I think I'm gonna do a shelf underneath here with these as just a little bit of detail. I wanna use this by a window decor here and I'm gonna put that underneath my TV. I think I could even size it up. We're gonna get a nice, oh my God, that's big. <laughs> a nice outdoor rug. And I think we have to go in with like some poofs of some kind. I'm thinking snowy escape. You cannot have a nice outdoor boho movie area without poofs. It's a rule. So we'll do that and I need an outdoor couch. Get Famous has this one. I think I'm gonna try that out and we can put that along the pool on the back and now all I need is like an end table or something to just pull this area together. And at the front, I'm gonna use this rug here and we're gonna add some plants. I've also added a sneaky little ladder along the back here just so that if you did wanna go swimming, you can. So I just made a couple adjustments here and there and this is our outdoor like movie area slash seating area. I also just added these from Get Famous. It's gonna look really cool in live mode cause they're gonna be like actually on fire with like the flames. And then I also did this little lounge area over there. Those are from Eco Lifestyle and I have this random rug from Island Living. I thought it looked cool, added like a little pop of color here and there. And I also added some like pillow clutter right there. I think this is looking really, really cool. And like when you zoom out, like this house is a freaking yin yang, like come on. I think we're gonna go inside. So I've already done my layout as well. Let me show you what we're gonna be doing. I still have to somehow make my aquarium in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. But we're going to have two bedrooms, one bathroom, and this is gonna be open concept kitchen, living room, dining room, all of that. I think I'm gonna start out making my aquarium. I need to remember how to do it. I need to go back and watch that like TikTok build hack video, but I'm gonna cover the bottom up with plants. I should probably use like a dirt. Yeah, that looks a lot better. <laughs> Make sure they're not poking through. I kind of want to go all out with this. So I'm going in with like some coral. Oh my God, this is big. This is like um island living debug. So I've got my coral and I need to remember. So I think you have to go in and size down like one of the aquariums. I actually just had to go into live mode so I can get the fish into the fish tank. But now that it's in live mode, look at this. Look how cool that is. Oh, I love the fire. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so what I did, I fully stocked this thing with fish. Now I'm gonna move it back in here and we're gonna size it down. I think I'm gonna do this a couple times. But now you can see the fishies swimming around in there. And if I go in live mode, now they're gonna be swimming around in the middle of my living room. How cool is that? Okay, let's get more fish. So again, I just put it here, go in live mode, purchase fish and fully stock it. Grab it, bring it back in and size it all the way down. And then I'm gonna like cover it up with rocks or something. But then we're gonna have all those fish. Perfect, there we go. No fish tank in sight. All we have are fish. I love it. Okay, anyway, moving on to the rest of the house here. I already know that I want this to be like a big TV unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a TV. I think I'm gonna use Dream Home Decorator to like make my own little unit surrounding the TV. But I kind of also wanna do like a fireplace. Let's see if I can incorporate the fireplace into this. Is this correct? <laughs> I have just done every possible combination of Dream Home Decorator surfaces that is possible here. I think it's the fact that there's no clutter on it, but still I'm like, mm. It's gonna take a lot of clutter. Wait, okay, this is kind of coming together. The more clutter we add, the better it gets. This is a good sign. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be going for like this sandy and neutral kind of color, but with red and pink incorporated. I've added a rug. We're going in with my couch here and I'm gonna get more of those like poofs, I think. This one looks like it could be like a leg rest. It's really, really small. So I'm gonna use that one in front of that chair. <gasps> I always forget about this little one from Cats and Dogs. Let's put that maybe closer to the fireplace. And I'm using this vintage glam lamp. Oh, I gotta get rid of this plant. I don't know why I don't use that more often. That is so cute. Is it a dog? Is that a giraffe? I think that's a giraffe. I thought that was a dog for so long. It literally says gentle G off. Oh my God, tell me I'm not the only one. He's a giraffe. I thought it was a dog. Okay, I need to do a kitchen somewhere. So I think I'm gonna do my kitchen over here. Let's do it on this left side. So I'm gonna keep with the same color scheme that I've been using. I'm gonna go in with my fridge. Let's do a half wall for like a little bit of separation. My couches are Dream Home Decorator. I can't decide what fridge I wanna use. Maybe cool kitchen 
kitchen. So I've got my counters, I've got my cabinets, all dream home decorator there. I have a little microwave and some bar stools from base game. I want to make this look better, like more interesting. Maybe we can go in with that as like my backsplash. I still got to get my oven. And then in this little spot here, we're going to do some shelving. So it's going to be like half open, half closed concept for my cabinet. Oh, I haven't seen that pink swatch yet. Look how cute that is. Oh my God, I need to put it somewhere else. Maybe it can go here. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've seen any of these in the pink swatch. Oh my God. I'm going to actually put some mirrors up because I just realized if I do that, you can see in the reflection, the aquarium. And that looks so cool to me. I'm going to go and do maybe under just like this little part here. If I could separate that with a column, that would be great. Okay, cool. And then this right here will be more shelving space. Just casually building the kitchen of my dreams. It's fine. Yeah, I feel so awful that I haven't looked through these swatches. So like these pink ones right here. And like some of these are so good. What have I been doing? I think I was just like obsessed with the fact that I, I love the default anyway. And I was happy with it that I didn't explore. And honey, I will never make that mistake ever again. Okay, I think I need to cool it with my kitchen and my living room over there. We've got this hallway situation happening as well. I'm gonna do a dining room just over here on this side. We're gonna do like a dining space right here. Maybe like a, a foyer at this part here because I don't really have anything going on for the front. So we're gonna get a dining table. I think I want to do like a big one. Maybe that base game one. Actually, that one fits kind of nice. I always accidentally think my tables need to be bigger than they are. <laughs> so we have our dining space over there. I also added a shelf there. And I think I need to do like an end table right here. Ooh, should I do a new pink swatch from this table? I think yes. And we can put some shoes under there. Just right underneath. I sort of like how cluttered this house is becoming. Like it's big, so it doesn't look too overwhelming. But like even this hallway space, like I kind of just tossed a, a basket of clothes here and there. Like I want it to look messy, but like not too messy. You know what I mean? Let's go and do, we'll do the bathroom quick. So let's get this out of the way. We can do a really cozy little bathtub area, I think. Should we try and go for like a plant wall bathroom? I want to try it. So we'll get our bathtub. I want to use that one from Snowy Escape, like the wooden one there. I have the room, so I'm going to put this in here, but I'm going to see if I can find that nice, cute pink swatch. Actually, the default kind of was the pink swatch. Plot twist. Or is the plant wall too much? What if I did like the pink plant wall? I don't think I like it. Maybe that one? I like that it's different. Like, I don't think I've done this in a hot minute. And then we can go in with some counters. Maybe we can use the same ones that we used in our kitchen. And we just pull those across. We can do a double sink. I just hate when they all look like kitchen sinks. You know what I mean? Like this, that is a kitchen sink. But that one's cheap. Okay, let's try that one. We got a double sink. We can do a big mirror. I think I'm actually gonna do a mirror wall again. I'm gonna raise these up so they match the ceiling. My toilet can be like right here, I guess. And then we can get some towels. We can get some lighting in here some candles. That basket there looks cute too. I don't know. There's something that I like about this bathroom and then something that I'm not really 100% sure about. I wonder if I put like a fitness rug right there. I mean, I do like it. I do like it. I like that it's different. Okay, let's move on from our bathroom. We're gonna do a bedroom first. I don't know where I want my bedroom to be. Maybe this one. We can do a smaller room as the bedroom and I haven't decided if I want like, like who else is gonna live here? Maybe it's two yoga instructors or two like friends. Two calm, chill friends. So maybe we can do two bedrooms. One is definitely gonna have a yoga studio in it. So let's start decorating this room here. I actually realized that I didn't have windows on like the back side of the house. So I just added some in there. I'm going in with these curtains here. I need to make sure that they're not clipping. Lately, I feel like I don't like any beds. I don't know why, like I don't know what changed, but I feel like all of the beds lately are just like not appealing to me. I don't know why, but I am making a nice zen, cute little spot over in this area by the window. We'll get a fluffy rug. I wanna do something over the bed. I don't know why yet though. I like sometimes doing like instead of end tables, I'll do like really long hanging lights like right there. And then maybe we just adjust a little bit. I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, that looks kind of cool. And then maybe I'll do one table on this side though. Just a little small one. Like that looks really cute. Imagine bumping your head off one of those in the middle of the night though. It would like swing and then come back and hit you again. <laughs> okay. But that looks adorable. I absolutely love that. I want to do a dresser right here. I think <gasps> let's do this one. I think there's a really cute swatch. Yes. Okay. We do that. We can do a cute little little lamp over here with some clutter on there. We can also do a stand-up lamp, I think, in this corner. An easel would be really cute too. Maybe an easel. Would it be weird if I like extended this all the way over and then you could like pull it across and like cover the window, cover the easel? I don't know. It doesn't quite fit. What if I shrunk this? Okay, that's a lot better. I love this bedroom and I still have so much room. Okay, I could do a TV. We can mount a TV right here. I can definitely fit a couch. Maybe I'll make like a small sectional. In 
the back there, I'm kind of just putting some clothes. I put this dream home decorator shelf up there. I'm honestly kind of just trying to like take up room in the back. I think also this might be our messy sim. Like the other bedroom, I think I'm gonna keep it a little bit more like put together. This one is definitely a little bit more messy and chaotic. I am like a million percent in love with it though. Like this room is so, so cute. I think this is the owner of the house who's gonna live in this one. And then the next one can be like our guest room. So this one, if we do end up having a roommate in this one, I think this would be their bedroom. I really wanted to do a yoga area. I just don't know where I'm gonna do that. I wonder if I could like raise these up. Yeah, this bedroom in here is looking super zen. We've got our bed. I've got my yoga mat over here. I'm just hanging some extra things here and there on the walls. But I think for the most part, this is gonna be our guest bedroom complete. We do have our yoga mat, which I'm happy about. I might add maybe like one poof or something like right here, just a small seating area. I actually think it would look super nice if I did like a wood accent wall in here. So I'm actually gonna do that right there. And yeah, that's gonna be it for our guest bedroom. This is our yin yang house. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is so freaking cool. I love how it turned out. I love how it's got the boho vibes going on on the inside. It's very zen. And of course, if you guys wanna download this, I will put it on the gallery under Sydney Macarena. And let me know any build challenge ideas you guys wanna see me do in the future in the comment section down below. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.